I got a buck 80 in it. I'd be a buyer at a buck and a quarter. I can't come off 150. Legendary Motor Car started out of a small single car garage in 1985. I've been through the ups and downs of the collector car market. I've been lucky enough to turn my passion into my business. My team shares that same passion and together we buy, sell, restore and race some of the greatest cars on the planet. I'm Peter Clute and this is Legendary Motor Car. When I first started in business, there was a guy that ran a trucking company right around the corner. He was a real car nut. I first met Pete uh, when he was running a small restoration shop uh, around the corner for a company I worked for, and I started Trailcon. And I said one day we'd do some business as I uh, got Trailcon a little more successful and had some money in my jeans. And uh, we stayed in touch. And Pete started a legendary, and then I have a nice little car collection. Al's a real experienced car guy, one of the most knowledgeable guys on a whole bunch of different cars but he also wants to get the right money for his cars, and I can't blame him. His Superbird is a special car. So anyway, finish that off and uh, start speeding up the gear. Ah, there she is. I'm interested in potentially selling this car to Pete because I'm interested in a Ford GT, and I just don't have any room for another car, so I thought if I'm gonna sell one, this would be it. It's probably the best documented Superbird in existence. It's a double build sheet car. It has every document on the car with every one of the owners and every registration, wow. every, uh, uh, every license, every bill of sale, everything that you can imagine on this car is included in this book. I, I would bet you it's the best documented one in the world. And what about the car itself? The car itself is just a, you know, it's a 446 pack car. It's a, it's a no hit car, a lot yep. of original paint on, original interior, drive line completely re redone this year. Uh, it runs like it's brand new and uh, it's all there. It's all real and uh, it's every nut and bolt and every part of that drive line is exactly the way. Okay. okay. Mind if we have a look? Absolutely. Al, yeah. what is all original paint on the car? You know, there's some blowing areas that you can see, but there's areas where the paint's checked, which is a lot of the original uh, paint on it. It has had some work. There, uh, there was some body work on the firewall because it was an air-conditioned car. Okay. It wasn't air-conditioned from the factory, yeah. but the gal- Somebody who, added it. They yeah. added it. Okay. Then it was all taken out uh, so they 20 just years ago. Yeah. But it's good. It's a good repair uh, on it. Okay. Uh, obviously, vinyl top is, uh, is original. Everything inside is de just dead ass original on, on the car. Trunk paint. Uh, the trunk paint uh, inside the trunk is all is all original. If you look, it's got the uh, original tire, original jack. It even has the original license plate uh, bracket on the front. Look at the floors. I think you'll see they're just. I don't know if you'll find a better one. Even the original license plate bracket on the front is on the spare tire, and that was the one that came with the car, and I got from the second or third owner sent it to me. But uh, have a look under the hood. Who built the motor and everything? Uh, the motor was done by Active okay. Uh, okay. here, which uh, I know you know them. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, uh, they do a pretty good job, and uh, it's uh, it has been dynoed and and all the work done. But bone stock. It's it, it, the cam. It has a cam in it. To be honest with you, yeah. and it has Petronics uh, on the ignition. That's okay. the only thing that has been changed. All the carbs are the original factory carbs uh, on the car. Uh, they were all rebuilt by Scott Smith out on the uh, on the West Coast. Yeah. And every part on it is the original part, right nut and bolt uh, on it. The transmission's been redone, the rear end's been done, uh, the, the rear gear had been changed. I went back to the 355 Pete, yeah. which is as per the build sheet. Mind if I take it for a drive? To me, some of the you know, the best part of an original car is how they drive. Absolutely, right? no, nope. yeah. uh, feel free. Let's, uh, let's lock her up and uh, away you go. You know, one of the things with an original car that is so special about it is the way they drive. I mean, a true 31,000 mile car should drive like a brand new car. And it doesn't matter who restores them. Anytime these cars come right apart, it just feels like they're never the same again. 
And I'll tell you, you don't have to drive the car long. After about 15 seconds, you know this is one of those cars that has never really been a part. Yeah, the drivetrain's been out of this car, but the way the car turns, the way the car feels, steers, all of the ground up restored cars, as pretty as they look, they just never drive the same as the cars that haven't been taken apart. You know, the car's got a beautiful body on it. I would say 80% of the car's original paint. Uh, the undercarriage is, is really nice in the car. You know, the only thing I really don't like about this car is the fact that it's a column shift automatic. If the car were a stick, I'd be uh, a little bit more excited. Even buckets and a console. But, I mean, the great cars, you can't be that picky. It just comes down now to dollars. I love the car. Can I get L to part with it? in today's market. The problem with all the Mopars is, is they've been in the toilet since 08, 09, and they really haven't come back like some of the other cars. Like I said, Al's a super knowledgeable guy. It's not like I have to look that hard at all the numbers. If he says they're right, they're right. The rest of the car is exactly what I remembered. Just a great original car. This car I, I bought kind of the height of the market, probably 2007, and I paid out 140,000 for the car. Since then, I put 35,000 in the restoration of the drive line, some interior work. So I total probably have 190,000, 195,000 in, in the car today. And that number may be higher than what the real market is. Man, the thing drives, a 31,000 mile car should. Yeah, it's yeah. great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I knew you'd like it. Um, uh, the only knock I have, the column shift. Yeah. You know, if it were a four-speed car, but you don't get to choose when you find a 31,000-mile original paint car what it is. Absolutely. You know, I get yeah. it. Yeah, I knew that would hurt the value of the car. I, I'd be a buyer at a buck and a quarter on the car. You know, I got, a, I got a buck 80 in it. I could take a haircut for 30 on it to go out and buy something else, but I can't come off 150 it's i be crazy for me to do that so yeah. I, I think we're still 25,000 apart yeah. i might move a bit but i'm i'm not going to be at 25 grand so if that's kind of your bottom then i don't think we can uh, we can do something on this one and i get it because i think we're at the bottom of the market yeah. and we're in a trough right now and i'm prepared to hold on to the car and and ride it out until yeah. it's back on top again Listen, you know where I live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, one of the things too is if I get somebody that is looking for an original paint, great numbers match, spectacular paperwork, you know, I'll give you a call because that's, I'm looking at it just on spec. And if I, if I got an end user for the car, obviously we can do something that's maybe closer to your number. And, you that's know, fine, you yeah, know where it is. Yeah. You know what? Some days you do the deal, some, some days, days you, you don't. don't. Hey, I appreciate the help with Bob and, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going to love the car. That's a, that's yeah. a great car, and you know yeah. what? Uh, we'll, dan we'll dance again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. good. Thanks, Thanks, again, Thanks for coming by. Okay, okay. take okay. care, bud. Sometimes the best deal to do is no deal at all. That way nobody leaves like they've been taken advantage of. And Al's one of those guys, you just tell him straight and he gets it. So here we are at the end of the day. I've still got my Superbird. Couldn't do a deal with Pete. I don't have a new GT40. I had to supply all the booze for the day. Bob's got a great car. Pete's got money in his pocket, and I don't have a commission check, so I got an idea I'm gonna be sending Pete a bill pretty soon.